Yo, what is up guys, my name is Venomir, and today I will be teaching you how to upload a Gary's Mod add-on to the Steam Workshop. Um, hopefully this will be easy and a possible setup, and it will just require uh, two things. Following a RAR extractable, such as WinRAR, or any type of extractable that can support RAR, and also a uploader called GMPT. Um, this can all be found in the links down below, so make sure you just go check those out, so as followed. So first we're going to do is we're going to quickly open up our browser. I'm going to go ahead and type in the following link sourceforge.net forward slash projects. Again, forward slash Gary's mod publish tool. Press enter and it should load into the website uh, for the actual link. Basically, we're just going to click download real quick and we're going to go and download and extract it to our desktop. So, click download. Once the file is, uh, is downloaded, drag it to your desktop, then you won't need your browser anymore from that point on. Go ahead and right click on the WinRAR, or the RAR file itself, and extract you its file. Once that's done, have it on standby on the left, you won't really need the RAR file after that, so just keep it handy. Next, get your add-on. For my example, I'm using an old rank system that I made a while ago, and open up the gmpt.22, and you'll see another folder called gmp.22, just open that up, and you'll see lib gmpu.jar gmpu settings settings and readme.txt you probably won't have the extension set but it should look somewhat like this double click on the jmpu.jar file and it should open up the actual extension itself so first we're going to do is we're going to go and actually ins uh, create our add-on before we search we're going to notate something real quick in the actual selections you can choose from in the mod section create create gma update or extract either of these four items you can actually operate with Create just makes so you upload the add-on to the workshop. Create a GMA basically saves a GMA before you do it. Update is basically a system of where uh, you can update your add-on via from here to the Steam Workshop if you make any updates. And extract is basically to extract add-on, kind of like GMA extract. So first, let's go in and select our file. So press the folder button, then go to desktop. Let's look the actual add-on itself. Click open and make sure it's saved. The icon you will also require is a 512 by 512 image because that's Steam's uh, workshop's owner. Uh, resibility so make sure you have the add-on once you have your picture go and load that up while pressing open the title or add-on that Jason is basically all the set items that the add-on or that the steam workshop looks for about the add-on so the title we're just going to call this test rank system world war 2 once that is done go ahead and move towards your type where this for server content you can type in realism and roleplay before we continue, we're going to fix one issue that I've seen before in the past and happened to me actually quite recently. If you have multiple hard drives, multiple SSDs, this may be one of the main issues. Now, because my Gary's mod is on a different hard drive, your Gmod publishing utility will automatically search for on your C drive, which may cause you an error. To fix this, click on the settings button, then click on set paths. Here you'll see the Gmod, uh, the Gmod paths for the extractor, and you'll see that it's already switched to my C drive. Mine's in my F drive or Fox dropped. So let's fix that. Click your folder, go to this PC, go to your actual R drive where Gary's Mod is located, click on your Steam library, Steam apps, common, Gary's Mod, and then open up bin, and then just be ready there. Press open, and then go back to GMAT paths. You're gonna do the exact same thing with the same one. So make sure it's bin is selected, and then press open. Hopefully then that you'll be able to find your gmpublish.exe and gmat.exe. Now this is only in statement if you only have multiple hard drives. If you don't only really have a C drive where your Gary's mod is installed, you don't have to worry about this. Press OK, then press OK again, and then you're ready to upload. So click Add to Queue, and then you'll see the status waiting to upload. Make sure you select it, and then click Execute. You'll see all the files being uploaded to the workshop itself, and you'll see the rest continue. You'll see it open up the file like this and open up a link. This is due to the fact that the item is, I'm not logged into the C right now and I won't be able to see it. But you should be logged into C when you actually have this working. To see this actually upload, we'll close out of the browser, open up Steam, go to our, uh, our, to our profile, go to our workshop items, and we'll notice test rank systems World War II. And there you go, your mod has now been uploaded. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Any any more questions for, uh, for the continuance of this uh, recording, please leave them down in the comments below and I'll definitely hope you'll be able to answer them. 
share the video around and hopefully we can assist on the history of creating more add-ons for steam workshop i hope you enjoyed the video if you did leave a like also subscribe to the channel for more updates hope you enjoy and i'll see you guys next time